love playing that song on soprano sax, and I especially love the fact I don't have to worry about my G sharp key sticking because I use a new product from Key Leaves called the Key Leaves Soprano Key Props. <laughs> I love that tune and I love playing that on soprano sax. But you know, sometimes playing that tune with some of those falls is a problem when your G sharp key sticks. All right, so now I found a new product that just came out by Key Leaves called the Soprano Sax Key Props that's going to help stop the sticky G sharp and C sharp key problem. Now, when you get this product, it comes in a package like this and you open it up and you get instructions on the inside flap. All right, it tells you everything you need to do. It says, let's get started. And it tells you how to assemble the key props um, correctly so you don't ruin your saxophone. Now what you get in here are the key props. You get the instructions. You get a little mini nail file and I'll explain this in a second. No, it's not for your nails. <laughs> you also get optional sizes of the inserts that go against, that line up really with the tone holes, okay? Optional sizes right here. Why is this important? Because this product is for all curved and straight soprano saxophones, all right? So uh, we want to make sure that the key props fit all the horns. Now let's get a close-up view of the key props themselves to see the parts of them. Okay, so on the top side, you have this, uh, you have this little bump over here. This bump goes right against the pad resonator. On the bottom side, you see it's a clear piece over here. It's labeled, this one says soprano C sharp large. So this piece goes against the tone hole on the bottom. So the ridge goes right inside the tone hole. And that's how you know it's gonna be correctly placed because you're gonna feel it. it's gonna just like kind of snap right in. Each key prop is labeled. So this is the C sharp one, C sharp large, the larger key. This says soprano E flat. So this is for the E flat key. Now, if for some reason, when you're putting the key prop in and these white pieces over here are too big for the tone hole, that's where you're gonna use the optional sizes, okay? Uh, they may be too big, they may be too small, okay? Mine are actually a little bit smaller so these would be some of the larger sizes over here. Remember before when I said that my, I needed to use this nail file? Okay, here's why. So this is the E flat key prop. The bump for me was a little bit too big. So what I had to do, I had to file this part, file the bump e uh, evenly, equally, so that the key prop would fit properly. So when I put this together again, now it fits. Now I could actually store my soprano sax with the key props in there as long as, number one, I don't have a soft case. You shouldn't have a soft case for your horns anyway. All right, this is an investment. Um, your horns can get wrecked. Trust me on that one. I used to use a soft gig bag for a number of years for my alto. Um, and you know, you start to notice some little dings that shouldn't be there. Okay. So use a hard case. You also shouldn't use this unless you have a case that does not press against these keys. Okay. So most hard cases don't, but if you have a hard case that does press against these keys, stop using this, get a better case. Okay. Super important. You don't want to, again, ruin your instrument. So like I said before, I could store the soprano sax in the case. The uh, pads are not going to get ruined because those bump things are going to be going against the resonators. And there you have it. So you're going to be allowing your C sharp, your G sharp key is going to be open. Those are going to be able to dry. Your uh, C sharp, your G sharp, and your E flat key are going to be allowed to be open and be dry so that those keys won't stick. It also allows air to flow through the horn so that the whole horn's gonna dry out. Even after you swab it, the swab doesn't always get all the moisture out, okay? So just keep that in mind. Using the saxophone soprano sax key props 
is going to extend the life of the pads on your horn and it's going to keep your horn cleaner. It's definitely a great addition to the saxophone uh, maintenance family, so to speak. So check out Key Leaves. Soprano Sax Key Props. You could find it at keyleaves.com or at amazon.com. And there's very helpful videos on their website at keyleaves.com. If you're having any difficulty installing the key props or understanding how to adjust them to fit your horn. So definitely check out their website, keyleaves.com. And I really recommend if you play soprano, whether you double, whether you triple, or this is your main instrument, Really, I strongly recommend that you get this because this is going to help extend the life of the pads of your horn, keep your horn cleaner, and keep you happier and your audience happier um, when you play. Thanks for joining me. On that note, take care. Have a great day.